Welcome back to Build by Nando Coaching and Fitness. I'm Coach Fernando. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about working out. But this is mainly focused to you guys who are just starting, okay? Or maybe for those who started and just didn't get a good routine, um, couldn't figure out what to do, how to do it, what to start. You did it for a little bit and you got lost. So if you're an experienced lifter, this probably is not a good video for you. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a good video if you're coaching someone, right? So um, for those who are just starting guys, just listen carefully here and just a couple, just a few steps that you guys can, can learn on how to start working out, okay? How to figure it out what to do, right? That's like the main thing we're trying to always figure it out, okay? Um, our first thing to do, guys, that I always recommend people is educate yourself. What does that mean? Educate yourself about the human body, right? If you're going to go and lift weights, do CrossFit, get into sports, um, whatever it is that you're trying to do fitness related, you kind of want to start learning a little bit about the human anatomy. Just basic stuff, guys, all right? Chest, bicep, tricep, shoulders, quads, you know, uh, hamstrings, calves, trapezius, um, just very basic things because once you start looking up information, uh, let's say, for example, how to do a chest workout, and they're gonna say, you know, to be able to work on, you know, your pecs, your pectorals, or your chest, you need to learn, understand what that is. All right, I know it sounds very basic and it's like, but Fernando, we all know what that means, but not a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys actually don't even know where your tricep or your biceps are. I'm not joking. I have a lot of clients who don't even understand what hamstrings are and what deltoids are or trapezius are, etc. okay? The point is educate yourself, literally go on the internet, get on your laptop, okay? And Google, you know, anatomy, uh, human body anatomy, just, just the human muscles, basic group muscles, um, and just learn the basics, okay? Um, the next thing, step two, all right, is ask yourself, what is it that you wanna do? Like, what kind of style of working out or training you wanna be a part of, okay? You wanna be a bodybuilder, power lifter, crossfitter, do you want to be able to throw, you be, you know, do explosive workouts? You will do calisthenics. You want to go do corrective movements. You know, what is it that you're going to be into? You have no clue. I have no clue what I want. Then think about your goals. Okay. Let's pause for a second and think about your goals. Am I trying to lose weight? Okay. Well, that could be very basic. You can choose out of many things you can choose from, you know, workout wise. I'm not talking about nutrition here workout wise, you can probably choose, I say, for example, a little bit of weightlifting. Okay. Get your muscles nice and, you know, toned and then learn what cardio is, what types of cardio you can do. Okay. So, um, there's some basic things that you can, you can think about, right? What are your goals? Okay. You want to go do a competition, meaning a bodybuilding competition. You want to do a, a powerlifting competition. There are different styles of, training for what your goal is there's you know so think about what your goal is always think about it that like you can start there once you think about that then you can kind of that will help you choose what style of training will help you get to that point okay if you're trying to be um for example a uh, a bodybuilder you have to be symmetrical right you have to have symmetry you can't just do seven days a week crossfit right a lot of people may argue with me about this and I will argue all day with them too. You can, okay? CrossFit doesn't specifically specialize in robotic movements that, you know, your body is going to be able to be built to be able to be a bodybuilder, right? You got to build some round cap shoulders. It's going to take a certain, you know, repetition and sets and workout style to be able to get round shoulders, right? Can you still look fit? Shred it to the bones. And look amazing being a crossfitter and still go do a bodybuilding stage, sure. And, you know, you can go ahead and do the, uh, 
you know, a very basic bodybuilding, you know, show and do that. But to the professional level, no, I don't think so. Okay. So just, just throw me, me throwing some examples to you guys. Okay. Number three, um, what kind of equipment do you have at home? This is, this is basic things again to think about. Why do I need equipment at home? Well, I'm making this video, video, excuse me, this video during quarantine. Okay. During COVID. Okay. So if you're watching this video a year later, this is the, the whole COVID-19 times that I'm making this video. A lot of people didn't have, you know, workout equipment at home, bands or dumbbells or any exercise equipment. Now they're stuck doing body weight, right? So do you have equipment at home? Question mark. Do you need equipment at home? Question mark, right? How do you know do you need equipment at home? Well, again, you go back to your goals. Do you want to look toned and shredded? You may want to maybe possibility to add some weights at home. It's going to, it's going to help you out. It's going to improve your physique, your overall physique. Okay. Um, so think about that. Maybe add some weights at home. Also think about if you have, your, you know, join a gym. Do you need to join a gym to be able to get to this goal, right? What style of training do you do? If you're going to do CrossFit to go, you know, go to a CrossFit gym, you can't go to 24 hour fitness and expect to be an expert at CrossFit. That's not work that way. Right. So also think about the equipment you need, the style of training you're going to do and the goal that you're going to reach. OK. And lastly, for me, it's very important. If you have no clue where you at, what you need to do, what is the next step? Personal training. If this is your first time training or your, your second time, your third time, whatever the case is here, you just always lost. You have no clue what to do. Get a personal trainer. Personal training nowadays, you can do virtual training, you can do in-home training, you can do go to the gym and do training. Um, you can you can get personal training. Personal training is great, guys. Okay, personal training is gonna teach you how to lift. It's gonna educate you. For some coaches like myself, as a trainer myself, not only I'm gonna teach you how to lift the weights, I'm gonna educate you on nutrition. I'm gonna educate you on the reasons why we're lifting, you know, how many sets, how many reps, you know, and develop a training program. If I can develop a training program for you, and that's your first ever training program, you're gonna have an example, right, of what you should be doing. Maybe you can take that example and after you become experienced, maybe three months later, six months later, doing personal training, take that example and then modify it a little bit more to whatever the next goal is. Hope that makes sense. Get a trainer, it really helps you out, guys. If you're contemplating on, you know, starting your fitness journey, you know, get a trainer. Highly recommend it. You can get an online coach, right? I'm a personal trainer. I'm also an online coach. Can you do online coaching? If you don't know how to do a chest press, I suggest you do not whatsoever do online training because you have no clue how to lift, right? So when you're going to read a training program, you're going to be like, what are skaters? What are single leg uh, squats or Bulgarian squats? Um, what is this? What is that? Right? What is sumo squats? What is you, you get? You, so it's going to get complicated guys. So might as well go get trained. Even if it's a month guys, just get trained, get educated. Okay. And that's going to help you guys out a lot. Hopefully this video helped you guys a lot. Um, very basic guys. I keep things very basic, right? How to start, how to work out, how to determine what to do. What are some steps that you need to take to start from the basic level and then you can go from there. Okay, I'll make more videos later on uh, a little bit more advanced talk and advanced videos. Um, hopefully this helped you guys out. Don't forget guys, click down below, subscribe, press the like button. Maybe you didn't like this video, that's fine with me. Comment below, ask me some questions, whatever you guys need. Um, I'm here to help you guys out. And uh, thanks again for the support. To the next one.